This Saturday night in Minneapolis, Minnesota, the WWE Tag Team Championships will be on the line, but this Wednesday afternoon, right here on Velocity, momentum hangs in the balance as one half of the number one contenders, Angel Garza, takes on one half of the WWE Tag Team Champions, Rey Mysterio. These two duos will clash with the gold on the line this coming weekend at Saturday Night's Main Event. But we are here on TikTok, as we are each and every Wednesday afternoon. Be sure to hit the like and follow, and don't miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday, right here on Velocity. Action courtesy of Friday Night Smackdown, as this matchup kicks off Rey Mysterio one-on-one -on -one with Angel Garza. And this coming weekend, we are heading to the Target Center, Minneapolis, Minnesota. Pit stop on the road to SummerSlam. We will be live at 5 p.m. Eastern time over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for a special Saturday night's main event production that will feature Angel Umberto challenging Rey Mysterio and Santos Escobar for the WWE Tag Team Titles. But right here, Rey Mysterio are going to get this matchup done in a hurry and kill the confidence of the number one contenders. Mysterio and Santos scratching and clawing to win the gold in the first place. We're able to topple A-Town down under back in the early part of the summer at Super Smackdown in their backyard, Mexico City. And maneuvers like that certainly help them win the gold. Angel Garza not looking so hot in the early moments of this matchup. Rey Mysterio all over his opponent tonight. And we're back at the Great American Bash. July the 5th on Friday night, SmackDown. Rey Mysterio and Escobar retaining their gold against the Street Profits. Wait a minute, hold that thought. Oh, man, Rey Mysterio. Tope suicide to the outside. Burdo getting caught in the crossfire. Oh, well, don't turn your back. Angel Garza with an attack from behind, taking down Rey Mysterio and finally seeing some offense here on Velocity. Well, as we are mentioning, back at the Great American Bash in the early part of July, Mysterio and Escobar, successful championship defense against Montez Ford and Angelo Dawkins of the Street Profits. It was a short-lived celebration, however, as Angel and Berto arrived on the scene and certainly staked their claim that they were coming for the Tag Team Championships off an ambush. Just a few weeks later on SmackDown, Angel and Birdo picking up a, dare I say, hard-fought victory. Gotta give them that against Nathan Fraser and Axiom. And certainly with that win and, of course, the revenge that Mysterio and Escobar have in mind, a Tag Team Championship match between those two duos was certainly inevitable from that point. That'll, of course, go down this Saturday. And wait a minute, I believe Birdo off screen just exposed the corner. Rey Mysterio chest first right into the steel, and that is certainly going to aid Angel Garza in his pursuit of victory this Wednesday afternoon. Angel and Birdo not afraid to bend the rules if need be. As will Mysterio and Escobar got to look out for when the championships are on the line live this Saturday in Minneapolis. Referee Chad Patton finally realizing that some destruction has been done in the squared circle. But Angel Garza may have just put this matchup away. Double arm pile driver that he loves to implore. Angel Garza, a little bit of a misdirection that time. They don't call it high risk, high reward for nothing. I think that misstep might have just given Rey Mysterio a moment to recover, but Angel trying to make up for it. Looking for a submission hold and look at the positioning. Dead center of the ring, making sure Rey Mysterio's got nowhere to run, nowhere to hide, and no ropes in sight to try to break this hold. Mysterio in trouble off some big time offense by one half of the number one contenders. Mysterio able to create a little bit of distance that time. Oh, wait a minute, might have got caught. Angel go for a power bomb or not. Mysterio damn near West Coast pop Frankensteiner into the pinfall. Almost stole the victory. Angel Garza nearly having this matchup won, but one misstep really shifting the momentum. And now Rey Mysterio looking to bring this matchup to a screeching halt. A shout out to an old friend, Hall of Famer Eddie Guerrero with the triple verticals. Angel 
momentarily looking up at the lights. And Rey Mysterio off the three amigos now, looking to stack the offense and find victory just days before they can test for the tag team titles. Maneuvers like that are what have made Rey Mysterio so successful throughout his already Hall of Fame career. Angel back on the outside. He's lucky Rey Mysterio didn't come swinging for a second time. Wait a minute. Hold the phone. Or shall I say pick it up and dial 619. Springboard into the splash. Mysterio into the cover and... Oh, come on now. Birdo at ringside, distracting Chad Patton, not allowing a three count to be made. Humberto certainly making his presence felt throughout this matchup. Rey Mysterio not going to take it. Cross body to the outside. Taken down Birdo, but it gives Angel Garza a moment. And he capitalizes. Mysterio had this matchup won, but thanks to the antics of Birdo, Chad Patton nowhere to be found to make the three count. Only so much one man in the zebra stripes can do. And now Angel looking to pick the bones of a weakened WWE Tag Team Champion. Oh no, could be looking for a second attempt at that pile driver, but Rey Mysterio not trying to see disaster once more. Felt it earlier in the matchup. This time finds a way to get out of it. There you see Angel pulling the rug out from underneath the boots. And now Garza. Not allowing Rey Mysterio to mount a comeback. Also signed for this Saturday night in Minnesota. Chad Gable set to contest Carmelo Hayes for the United States Championship. Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville will either meet Oscar and Io Sky or Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark will find out which team will be on SmackDown to crown new women's tag team champions. Rey Mysterio and Angel Garza. Duke get it out for momentum here tonight. Who will be driving into the Target Center of Minneapolis this Saturday night with their head raised high? Back and forth we start to go as Rey Mysterio takes the knee out from underneath. Garza did not get all of that springboard, but definitely booted Angel right in the face. Damn near could have been an unintentional knockout blow. Mysterio scaling the ropes, and he's feeling froggy. Frog splash by the Hall of Famer. And Rey Mysterio picking up momentum for the LWO. A great contest between Angel and Rey, but when it comes to momentum, it looks like the LWO gets the confidence boost heading into the WWE Tag Team Championship match live this Saturday night in Minneapolis. Angel and Birdo are gonna have to go back to the drawing board and try to think up a game plan and take the LWO off their game because they have been on top of it all summer long. The WWE Tag Team titles on the line this Saturday night. But thank you for joining us each and every Wednesday here on TikTok on Velocity. Be sure to hit the follow and never miss a moment of this high risk, high reward, high octane action. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noination Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. This past Saturday in Minneapolis, we crown new women's tag team champions, but who are going to be their number one contenders? Well, we find out this Wednesday afternoon as Alba Fire and Isla Dawn take on Katana Chance and Kaden Carter, two Monday Night Raw respective teams battling it out to see who will face the SmackDown respective Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark in the near future for the women's tag team titles. Well, Beauty Velocity, which is here on TikTok each and every Wednesday afternoon. Be sure to hit the like and follow. That way you never miss a moment of the action here on Velocity. 
And certainly go check out the replay from Saturday night's main event this past weekend at the Target Center in Minneapolis, Minnesota. SmackDown, Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark taking down Monday Night Raw's Chelsea Green and Sony Deville to be crowned the new WWE Women's Tag Team Champions. Of course, those titles mutual between both Raw and SmackDown. Hence the reason we have two Monday Night Raw teams battling it out for number one contendership tonight. When they will get their respective matchup for the gold remains to be seen, but one of these teams going to punch their ticket to the dance this Wednesday afternoon. So much opportunity riding on the line in the women's division. New tag team champions crown. Two championship matches signed for SummerSlam. The Queen of the Ring coming up next month. So much action on the horizon, including the WWE live event that is going down this Saturday for No Nation Gaming YouTube channel members only. Be sure to head over to the YouTube channel, become a channel member now. Don't miss out on a CM Punk WWE Championship defense that is going down this Saturday night. The new WWE Tag Team Champions, Angel and Humberto, will defend the gold against the LWOs, Cruz Del Toro, and Joaquin Wild, plus the Usos. First tag team matchup since the month of May as they go 2v2 against Brutus and Julius of the Creed Brothers. All that and more going down this Saturday at the WWE Live event over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel for channel members only. All that on the road to SummerSlam, of course, coming up a week from Saturday. Right here, right now, Alba Fire and Isla Dawn, the unholy union as they call themselves, taking on Katana Chance and Caden Carter. Alba Fire knows a thing or two about holding championship gold, former NXT United Kingdom champion. And she's showing some of the talents that made her the champion all that time ago. Isla Dawn still a pretty Newcomer to the Monday Night Raw roster over the last few months has not seen too much action. Katana Chance, however, along with Caden Carter, proving why they were the last team to hold the women's tag team titles before they were temporarily retired back in the month of October. Chance and Carter, women's tag team champions, this time last year. As we've discussed time and time again, those championships temporarily placed on the shelf last fall with all the intentions of bolstering the women's divisions on Raw, SmackDown, the tag team division specifically, creating more opportunities, more women on the show. Overall, just a positive experience for all the women of Raw and SmackDown and creating more doors for them to kick down. Katana Chance and Caden Carter willing to be team players, but now the gold is back in action and now they want the championships back that they never lost. Had an opportunity to qualify for Saturday night's main event a couple of weeks ago, Chelsea Green and Sonya Deville took them out on Monday Night Raw. Now they get another go around. This time against the unholy union of Alba Fire and Isla Dawn. Number one contendership hangs in the balance. We've only seen one other tag team matchup here on Velocity so far. That was DIY taking down Ashante the Adonis and Cedric Alexander for the first time women's tag team action showcased this Wednesday afternoon. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn proving to be a cohesive unit as if we expected anything less. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn long darting each other off the top rope multiple times. They might be trying to outmatch the high octane offense of Katana Chance and Caden Carter. As we mentioned, former women's tag team champions for a reason. Fire and Dawn continuing to keep fresh legs in this matchup and continuing to outmatch former women's tag team champions. Oh, here we go. Alba Fire going behind. Face first goes Caden Carter. That could be a knockout blow. Any day of the week, twice on Wednesday. Katana Chance making sure that the number one contendership is still on the horizon. The momentum is certainly on the side of the Unholy Union at the current moment. Alba Fire and Isla Dawn have completely taken over this tag team matchup. Caden Carter has got to find a window of opportunity to try to get back into this. Might have found it with a couple of shots to the rib cage. Caden going behind. Bit of a flatliner that time. Alba fires face bouncing off the canvas. And it's Isla Dawn breaking up the pinfall. Little roll reversal there, but anything you got to do to make sure this matchup does not hear a bell and your team isn't on the opposite side of it. Aiden Carter bringing Alba Fire to enemy territory. Much needed tag by Katana Chance. These two women need a bang. Katana Chance on the shoulders of Caden Carter. Get a load of this high-octane, high-energy offense. 
Katana Chance putting the exclamation point dead center of the ring on this matchup. Fire and Dawn controlling a few moments there. Caden and Chance needed a maneuver to get them back into the line of fire and boy did they come back more than ever. Katana Chance and Caden Carter, the championships that they lost last year. They now have an opportunity to win back the gold coming up soon against Shayna Baszler and Zoe Stark. Here are your winners. The team of Katana Chance and Kaden Carter. New number one contenders for the Women's Tag Team Championships crown. Thank you for joining us here on Velocity. Be sure to hit the like and follow. And don't miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday afternoon right here on TikTok. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood! Days before the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam, we make a pit stop here on Velocity exclusively on TikTok. The OC's Machine Gun Carl Anderson looks to take down the behemoth known as Big Brunson Reed. We thank you for joining us here on Velocity exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Be sure to hit the like and follow for more and never miss a second of this action that comes your way each and every Wednesday afternoon. Well, this one-on-one -on -one matchup between Anderson and Bronson Reed tonight, stemming out of the eight-man tag that went down just a few weeks ago on Monday Night Raw. Bronson Reed stood alongside DIY as well as LA Knight and picked up a huge victory over Dijak and the OC collectively. I'm sure that has not sat well with AJ Styles, Carl Anderson, or Luke Gallows, and the machine gun, the one to step up to the plate tonight. Big Bronson Reed has continued to turn heads each and every week on Monday Night Raw since his return to WWE back in the month of March, and it's because of maneuvers like that. Bronson Reed has gone toe-to-toe -to -toe with the WWE Champion CM Punk several times throughout this summer. Victory was not to be, but Bronson Reed continued to impress, really showing the world why he's going to continue to be a problem on the red brand. Bronson Reed, such an agile superstar, strength, power, size obviously on his side. Carl Anderson showing a few moments ago that there is not an impossible feat to take Bronson Reed off his feet. But of course, easier said than done, and keeping Bronson Reed down for long sustained periods of time is a whole other situation. Obviously, the numbers game in the OC's favor as it usually is tonight. Luke Gallows watching the back of the machine gun as Brunson Reed heads to the top. Might have been going for a tsunami early, but realized Anderson was starting to roll to his feet. Cannot discount machine gun Carl Anderson in this matchup. Obviously a predominantly tag team superstar. World-renowned singles competitor as well. He's won championships all across the globe. New Japan Pro Wrestling, one of those locations. Now Carl Anderson looking to remind the WWE Universe just how dangerous not only himself, but the OC entirely can be. It's a hell of a hangman's neck breaker off the middle buckle a few moments ago. Carl Anderson certainly looking hot here on Velocity. Better watch where he's shooting that machine gun, however, because Bronson Reed making him pay for taking his eye off the ball. Reed has stood toe to toe with CM Punk, Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, so many big time names on Monday Night Raw in recent months. Win, lose, or draw, the big man has certainly continued to climb the ranks of the red brand. And man, Luke Gallows taking the eye of Big Brunson Reed off the ball. Carl Anderson gonna take advantage using Brunson Reed's agility to his own detriment there, trying to stack him up from behind with the pinfall. 
Three count was not to be, but that's what Reed has got to be careful of tonight. The numbers game of the OC. He might not have got the victory, but a handle of momentum right back to Carl Anderson here, who is dipping and diving and is able once again to use Brunson Reed's agility to his, uh, to against him, excuse me. Oh, wait a minute. Reed sidestepped Anderson and caught him with a big time air raid crash variation. And he might have got the pinfall had Anderson's boot not been underneath the bottom ropes. This is some awesome action going down here on Velocity, which again comes your way each and every Wednesday exclusively right here on TikTok. All roads lead to SummerSlam live on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern time and what an extraordinary event it is going to be in Ford Field. Championships to be decided, personal battles at stake. Is a all-star car come Ford Field in Detroit live this Saturday night. Right now, Carl Anderson probably wishes he was in Detroit or at least anywhere but the Velocity Arena. Brunson Reed heading to the top. Anderson trying to get the hell out of Dodge. Watch where you're walking. Brunson Reed just squashed the machine gun with a suicide dive. Holy hell. Bronson Reed showcasing his abilities. The power, the size, the strength, the agility, the speed of Bronson Reed. Damn near a full package inside of that ring. He is going to continue to be a problem. Send those tidal waves, or shall I say tsunamis, throughout the Monday Night Raw locker room. Big time Saido there on Anderson, who somehow still has a little bit of breath left in his lungs. And Bronson Reed could be such a throwback at times to a Bam Bam Bigelow, Vader, some of the big and agile superstars that have taken this industry by storm. Bronson Reed, damn near the evolved version of those guys. Former NXT North American champion, still searching for his first piece of hardware, a part of Monday Night Raw. Tell you what, Carl Anderson may be still in this fight. Surviving, but certainly not thriving. Big time Larry at that time. Wait a minute, once again, Luke Gallows trying to shake his hands, yell in the air, do whatever he's got to do to take Brunson Reed's attention away from Carl Anderson. There's a veteran move by Brunson Reed to do his best to shake off the cobwebs. I don't know how long. Or I should say, if it was long enough to give Anderson the momentum back, lands on his feet, big time uppercut. And another. Rocking Brunson Reed, but it didn't do enough. Anderson's going for the second ride of the matchup. And this time, some distance between his boots and the ropes. That's going to be a victory for Big Bronson Reed. Here is your winner. A huge win for Brunson Reed here on Velocity, exclusively on TikTok. But ladies and gentlemen, join us over, the, over on the Nomination Gaming YouTube channel live this Saturday night as we head to Detroit, Michigan for the biggest party of the summer, Summer Slam! If you're feeling the Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way, exclusively, each and every Wednesday, only on the Noah Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw, 
and SmackDown race to the finish line on velocity. Competition at an all time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of velocity. Hot off the heels of a fantastic SummerSlam, we are back here on TikTok for Velocity and this week action courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. Last Friday night, Alpha Academy's Master Chad Gable issued a challenge to the SmackDown locker room. Ludwig Kaiser stepped up and turned away the challenge of Gable. Gable is looking to bounce back after some recent losses, beginning to stack up one after another. Tonight, he's got Giovanni Vinci here on Velocity. And Imperium has got to be in some mood after what happened this past Saturday at SummerSlam. The ring general, Gunther, falling to the American Nightmare, Cody Rhodes. We do have a new World Heavyweight Champion. The replay, of course, available right now over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But here we are on Velocity exclusively each and every Wednesday. Only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok as Giovanni Vinci has been all over Gable. Chad Gable's really been struggling as of late. Ever since falling short in his hometown in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Back at Saturday night's main event earlier this month. In his pursuit of the United States Championship. Turned away by Carmelo Hayes, and Gable has been itching to bounce back in a massive way. Unfortunately, Ludwig Kaiser caught him. Thanks to the numbers game of Imperium last Friday night on SmackDown. Now he's got Giovanni Vinci, and he's looking to turn the tables. And look at him go! Tope suicide to the outside. Exciting action here on Velocity. So much exciting action on the way in the month of September. We are feeling the aftershock from the biggest party of the summer, SummerSlam, that was off the charts this past Saturday in Ford Field in Detroit. Right now, Giovanni Vinci just trying to cut off the momentum of Chad Gable. Gable, somebody who has been chasing championship gold for quite some time on SmackDown. And I don't think Gable really has a preference as to which gold he wants around his waist or he could get around his waist. He just wants to hold a piece of hardware. We've seen him challenge for the United States Championship. Earlier this year, Alpha Academy, a couple of occasions, chances to win the WWE Tag Team Championship. Hell, it was this time last year that Chad Gable was within inches of becoming the Cruiserweight Champion. Chad Gable could be looking at the opportunities on the horizon and trying to find which suits him best. Belly to belly off the top. Gable, win, lose, or draw. Always impressive. Into the cover on Vinci, and Vinci's still into this thing. I'm sure Imperium is not looking to fall short. After the ring general's Gunther's empire came crashing down just nights ago. Missile drop kick by the ever explosive Giovanni Vinci, who's got so many ways to beat you. Gable tried to get out of the way. Vinci brought him right back down to the canvas with that frog splash like crossbody. Talking about Chad Gable and his pursuit of championship gold. But what about Vinci and Kaiser, whether it's singles gold or tag team gold? It may not be long before Imperium's holding championship hardware once again. And big Kaiser, the victory over Gable last Friday night on SmackDown. Gable not looking to go 0-2 against the likes of Imperium this afternoon on Velocity. Vinci got caught dead in his tracks. Gable brings him down face first on the canvas. Some power behind that maneuver. Unfortunately, it's not enough to get the three count. So we're going to Chad Gable's Alpha Academy pupils. Maxine Dupree at ringside. We've yet to see her in in-ring action, but she's been lording around the squared circle as of late. Meanwhile, Giovanni Vinci with Ludwig Kaiser in his corner tonight, able to turn the tables off another impressive springboard maneuver. Giovanni Vinci, a multiple tool player, as we have talked about in the past. Gable in trouble. The power, the agility. Giovanni Vinci off a massive power bomb. And unfortunately for Chad Gable, his string of bad luck continues. 
Well, Chad Gable just may be in his own head, but that does not discount the efforts of Tizer and Vinci. Like them or not, they have been successful. Imperium on top this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight-week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern time, kicking off on September the 29th, 16 men representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic? One month from tomorrow, the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kicks off, but this afternoon on Velocity, two Cruiserweights courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown are set to take center stage. The ever-exciting Leslie, one-on-one -on -one with the explosive Nathan Frazier. These two men met in last year's Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Who's gonna build momentum to the 2024 installment? We thank you for joining us this afternoon only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Be sure to hit the follow and like and don't miss Velocity each and every Wednesday afternoon. As we mentioned, one month from tomorrow, Hammerstein Ballroom, Manhattan, New York, the eight-week tournament with 16 participants begins the 2024 Cruiserweight Classic. Both Wesley, Nathan Fraser, and even the man at ringside Axiom all got to be looking to find their name on the bracket. Come the month of September, it is going to be an ever-exciting tournament with so much opportunity riding on the line. Wesley, somebody who was chasing the Cruiserweight Championship just a few months ago, fortunately came up short in his pursuit. A victory here tonight, certainly going to build momentum towards the Cruiserweight Classic, and of course coming out on top in that tournament could bring the winner some championship gold aspirations. Or well, remains to be seen what is going to happen in the fall as that tournament progresses. But right now, Wesley has been the aggressor since the opening bell here on Velocity. As for Nathan Fraser and Axiom, those two men really coming together back in the spring. Challenge for the WWE Tag Team titles at one point were unsuccessful. Seen some ups and downs on Friday Night SmackDown. The Cruiserweight Classic, however, will bring some singles opportunities for both of those men. Nathan Fraser, somebody who arrived on the scene from NXT and joined the SmackDown roster through the CWC last year, made his way through the first round, defeated Wes Lee in the quarterfinals, went on to the semifinals, came up to Johnny Gargano. Nathan Fraser could be looking to make it all the way to the closing finale this year. Hanging out Wes Lee in the Tree of Woe. Wes Lee was very hot coming out of the gate. Don't want to expend yourself too early, however, because this man who we've called a spark plug at times and Nathan Frazier can certainly catch in a matter of moments. Going for the standing shooting star that time, Wesley getting his knees up. And Wesley going to keep it simple, but most importantly, effective. So much on the horizon in the month of September here in the WWE. And of course, the Cruiserweight Classic, what these two superstars have on their mind is Wesley. Sends Frazier to the outside. Wheels are a spinning. Frazier in the drop zone as Wesley comes over the top rope. And the Velocity Arena has come unglued. Velocity, certainly the term that Wesley brought to the dance that time. Frazier once again in trouble. Springboard missile drop kick lands on the button. Lee looking good in this matchup. Unfortunately, not enough to get the three count just yet. Wesley remembers that exchange with J.D. McDonough several months ago. An exciting SmackDown main event where he came up short in his pursuit of the Cruiserweight Championship. With the CWC looming, neither of these men are going to come up short this afternoon. 
Nathan Frazier now turned the tables and a drop kick of his own sent in late of the turnbuckles. Axiom, of course, at ringside, but he's going to let Nathan Frazier fight this one on his own. Those two young talents have proved to, proven to be, excuse me, absolutely extraordinary. The results are needed to keep their name near in the promised land on Friday Night SmackDown, as now it's Nathan Frazier this time who takes things over the top rope. This is the type of action that you are gonna see starting on Sunday, September the 29th. Now on the outside of the Destroyer to Wesley. Nathan Frazier has turned this match up on its head. Wesley getting dumped on his head that time. And now set inside the ring. Oh, excuse me. Nathan Frazier coming off the top. Almost said Wesley coming off the top. Lee got out of the way. Bit of a crash and burn situation. Nathan Frazier obviously didn't get too banged up on the landing. Now he's going back to the top. Could be looking for that signature Phoenix splash, but you ain't getting up from a second crash and burn. Credit to Frazier trying to shake off the cobwebs momentarily there. Oh, but he does it again. And Nathan Frazier showing to be hungry for victory this Wednesday afternoon here on Velocity, but Wesley continues to hang in there. As we were mentioning, this is the action that you're going to see for eight weeks starting on Sunday, September the 29th. It'll be Sunday afternoon, streaming live on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel at 12 noon Eastern. The Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kicking off one month from tomorrow. Nathan Frazier's own momentum, damn near dead weight, getting set over the top rope that time is the fatigue of these high-risk, high-octane maneuvers that these two superstars are dishing out starts to, starts to tell a toll. Frazier set inside the squared circle. And now Wesley once again using a springboard to his advantage. Another one count that time. A lot of near falls in this matchup, but near falls that have not really gone to the last millisecond. Both of these superstars not giving the other any kind of false hope. Frazier's now the one. Back against the wall. In trouble as Wesley is starting to rev up the engines here on Velocity. Nathan Frazier put on top, not where he wants to be, as Wesley meets him up there, and a beautifully executed German sends Frazier halfway across the ring. Oh, and a reversal that time. Nathan Frazier damn near stealing this matchup. Goes for the Enziguri. Wesley sidesteps. Wesley keeping it simple, effective. Couple of shots, and now a destroyer of his own. Cruiserweight action at its finest between these two young and motivated individuals. Going for the corkscrew. It's a crash and burn. Neckbreaker by Frazier. Man, these two superstars letting adrenaline fuel them tonight, trying to do their damnedest to shake off the cobwebs and feel the pain on Thursday morning. Frazier's now. Heading to the top rope. Going for a simple axe hammer. Got caught. Wesley now in the crucifix pinfall. And he got him. Wesley scores victory this Wednesday afternoon. A hell of a matchup here on Velocity between Wesley and Nathan Frazier. Leaving everything in the kitchen sink inside the ring. But Wesley just caught Nathan Frazier in the closing moments of this extraordinary battle. One month from tomorrow, the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament kicks off over on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But be sure to follow right here on TikTok and never miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a No Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of Universe Mode. 
Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how Universe Mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more Universe than ever before. This week on Velocity, days before those two gentlemen defend the WWE Tag Team titles at WWE Live, Angel Garza is set for a one-on-one -on -one encounter with one half of the LWO, Santos Escobar. The history between these superstars has run deep over the last month and change on Friday Night SmackDown. It all comes to a head live this Saturday at WWE Live for No Nation Gaming channel members only over on our YouTube channel. But this afternoon, we are here on TikTok just as we are each and every Wednesday. Be sure to hit the follow and never miss out on the action right here on Velocity. Angel Garza won half of the WWE Tag Team Champions alongside Humberto. And of course, those two gentlemen have recently been accompanied by El Idolo, Andrade, somebody who was very pivotal in helping those two men win the Tag Team titles last month at Saturday Night's Main Event in Minneapolis, Minnesota. Angel coming out hot, but Santos Escobar is not looking to see the LWO's momentum go A-wire tonight as they approach that tag team title match this Saturday at WWE Live. Escobar and Ray had the title stolen out from underneath their noses last month in Minneapolis, but just a few weeks ago on SmackDown, earning their number one contendership against A-Town Down Under, Austin Theory and Grayson Waller. I am sure Angel and Berno expected as such for Santos and Ray to be on their tail, and now they are gonna run things back with the championships on the line. Of course, a few weeks ago on SmackDown as well, Santos tried to get even with Andrade in a one-on-one -on -one matchup. Did not go the way of Santos Escobar. El Idolo was the victor on that night. And this afternoon, Santos Escobar looking for a different story, and especially with that tag team championship match nearing, every victory and loss certainly gonna play into your momentum. Escobar coming out here alone tonight, and of course, that's not necessarily a strange outing for the LWO. As close as they are, like brothers are the Latino world order, Santos Escobar no stranger to trying to get things done on his own. Former three-time Cruiserweight champion, of course, former tag team champion with Rey Mysterio. But I don't know if this is a great idea by Escobar walking out here days before a tag team championship matchup, especially knowing that Angel, Berto, and Andrade were to be coming out here as a trio. Nonetheless, Escobar will in the... Th Scratch and claw if it means victory tonight. In hot pursuit of Angel Garza. And Angel might have just goaded him in as he throws him right at the barricade at ringside. Angel and Umberto have really bursted on the scene on Friday Night SmackDown. We're tired of waiting for an opportunity. They decided to take it. It was two months ago at the Great American Bash edition of the Blue Brand. The Angel and Umberto ambush Escobar and Mysterio from behind after they had successfully defended the tag team titles. Ever since that night, they were in hot pursuit of the championship gold, and it of course worked out for them. What else is working out right now is this ringside assault that Angel is instituting on the Emperor of Lucha Libre. Trying to take things to the top, where of course these Lucha Libre stars feel most comfortable. Santos Escobar red, Angel Garza like a book. Santos now just trying to rally back inside the ring after Angel goaded him the outside and had his way. Santos, talk about where he's most comfortable. He's feeling froggy, frog splash by Escobar. And he almost had this matchup won, but Angel is still into it. Santos Escobar, that same frog splash, the maneuver that won himself and Rey Mysterio, the tag team titles in the first half of the summer Back at Super Smackdown in Mexico City. Escobar looking to repeat history alongside the Hall of Famer Rey Mysterio. And only No Nation Gaming YouTube channel members are going to be able to tune into that contest going down this Saturday. Right now, Santos Escobar realizing that Angel Garza is not defeated yet, but he may be getting close. Angel sidestepping that signature leg drop by Santos, and Santos is now the one staring up at the lights. 
at least momentarily. Well, you notice that corner has been exposed, and Angel notices as well, just as it was back in Minneapolis last month. Angel, Berto, and Andrade certainly not afraid to bend the rules. And bending them is what has brought them so much success. Oh, no. And this is the maneuver that won them the tag team titles last month. Santos Escobar dropped right on his dome off the pile driver, but he's still alive. You gotta imagine the cobwebs have been shaken. The eggs have been scrambled. Santos Escobar's gotta try to find a way back into this match. Little boot to do so, creating some distance. And now it's Santos, the one closed in the gap. Angel Garza, within an instance, finds himself up against the ropes. A very motivated emperor of Lucha Libre. With his eyes locked on one half of the tag team champions, but Angel Garza off the reversal, sends Santos into the rope, tilt to whirl, Santos lands on his feet. Angel might have got caught. Phantom driver by Escobar. Santos picking his spot where it mattered most. Here is your winner, Santos Escobar. A great reversal in the back half of that matchup as you just saw the Phantom Driver out of nowhere and Santos Escobar keeping the LWO's momentum alive as we approach WWE Live this Saturday. Andrade with an attack. Elite alone not gonna stand for the LWO's momentum at an all-time high double underhook DDT. Santos Escobar may be the victor, but he certainly isn't looking like it at the current moment. Well, Andrade has had issues with the LWO dating back to the month of April, and now he's got a steel chair. And unfortunately, this just happened to be the week that Santos Escobar wanted to do battle by himself. And now Andrade's taking the most advantage of it. Santos Escobar securing the victory, but Andrade will not stand for him to bask in the glory of that celebration. The steel chair off the flesh of Emperor of Lucha Libre. Again! This is not good. Santos Escobar needed to avoid disaster this afternoon, but unfortunately Andrade forced him to look up at the lights. Who is going to leave WWE live as the tag team champions? We find out this Saturday for No Nation Gaming YouTube channel members. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way, live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel memberships proudly present WWE Bad Blood. This week on Velocity Tag Team Action, courtesy of Monday Night Raw, Elton Prince and Kit Wilson of Pretty Deadly gonna have their hands full as they meet Johnny Gargano and Tommaso Ciampa of DIY. We welcome you to Velocity. We are here each and every Wednesday exclusively on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. Be sure to hit the like and follow and never miss out on any of the action right here on Velocity. Tommaso Ciampa and Johnny Gargano hot off the heels of a massive six-man tag team victory last Saturday night at WWE Live. Of course, they were alongside Sami Zayn. Sami Zayn pinning the Intercontinental Champion and Dominic Mysterio, a matchup that also housed the World Tag Team Champions of Monday Night Raw, Damian Priest and Finn Balor. DIY has got to be eyeing up a championship opportunity in the near future. And if they can continue, excuse us, to build momentum, they may be undeniable number one contenders. Johnny Gargano bringing Tommaso Ciampa, or I should say bringing 
Elton Prince back in Kit Wilson, excuse me. Can we get it out correctly in the enemy territory? DIY is revving up the engines, and it's exciting action to watch here on Velocity. Tommaso flowed over into the pinfall. Nicely done. Of course, speaking of the World Tag Team Championships, they will be on the line live at 5 p.m. Eastern time this Saturday night at No Mercy in Montreal. Damian Priest and Finn Balor defending their championship gold against Jay and Jimmy of the Usos. It is a tables, ladders, and chairs matchup. It will main event live in Montreal this Saturday night. The Judgment Day's tag team titles versus the Usos' jobs, their livelihoods on Monday Night Raw. It is winner take all, all or nothing, this Saturday night at No Mercy. For all we know, the winner of this contest could be waiting in the wind for the winner of that contest coming up on Saturday. Elton Prince tagged in and a nice double team maneuver on Tommaso Ciampa. It's been a little bit since we have seen Pretty Deadly in action on Monday Night Raw. A lot of that having to do with their lack of success upon their first few outings on the Red Brand earlier this year. Make no mistake about it, Pretty Deadly called that for a reason. They ain't just in the ring because of their good looks, self-proclaimed that is. They can be tough as nails when they need to be. And Elton Prince better be, because Tommaso Ciampa just knocked his lights nearly out with that knee. Former NXT Tag Team Champions on both sides of the ring tonight. But Tommaso with the tag back to a former NXT Grand Slam Champion and Johnny Gargano. Nice double team. Cross body Gargano going sky high here on TikTok. DIY, I know what it's like to hold the World Tag Team titles on Monday Night Raw as well. Did so back in the first few months of 2023. Remember, Gargano and Ciampa were separated in the 2023 jab. Gargano spent about a year on Friday Night SmackDown while Tommaso Ciampa was trying to find his footing on Monday Night Raw. Meanwhile, Kit Wilson tagged in and just took Gargano's head off with a massive lariat. That could be all she wrote, not just yet. Gargano and Ciampa reunited through the 2024 WWE Draft. It's been an uphill battle to seek momentum ever since. And that uphill battle may continue this afternoon, not if Tommaso Ciampa has anything to say about it. Kit Wilson coming in and making a definite impact in this tag team matchup as Gargano is now set in enemy territory and Pretty Deadly is looking to fully take over. Gargano may be surviving, but he certainly is not thriving. Hera boots right to the ribcage. If a man can't breathe, he can't fight. And Johnny Gargano's looking worse for wear. Elton Prince now just looking to keep Gargano down. Cannot allow DIY to rev up those engines. Those two men are cardio machines. They will go the distance with anybody inside of that ring. Hence the reason they have seen so much success in previous years as a tandem. Success that they are trying to refocus on and redefine on Monday Night Raw. That, of course, bleeds into the green brand on Velocity. Gargano now trying to get back into this matchup for his unit. Elton Prince taken off his feet, now brought back to his souls, not by will, but by force. There's a reversal there. Gargano sent into the corner, and Elton Prince again, just not trying to allow a comeback to be had, thanks to the whole shebang. And he almost got the pinfall there, but not just yet. You see a little frustration out of Prince that time. Pretty Deadly cannot be surprised that Gargano and Ciampa have those second and third gears. It is well documented. Pretty Deadly are going to have to meet Johnny Gargano and Ciampa in the middle tonight. And try to outlast these two motors. Gargano fighting that enemy territory back against the wall. Only one answer starts swinging. Oh, man. Slingshot into the corner. Gargano into the cover. Big time victory on the way, not just yet. Kit Wilson going to ensure that a three count is not to be had just yet. Oh, Gargano going to make sure that Kit Wilson regrets those actions. Slingshot DDT over the top. Trying to go after Elton Prince, but he only gave Prince just a bit of time to get some R&R. &R. Into the ropes goes Gargano. Johnny Gargano. Dipping and diving around Elton Prince in a nice reversal. 
DIY starting to get back to doing what they do best. Sending Tommaso Ciampa. There's the tag made. Elton Prince getting caught with a meat in the middle. Ciampa getting tagged in. DIY going for the kill. And DIY's momentum continues to rise on Monday Night Raw. The six-man tag team victory at the WWE Live event last Saturday night. And this afternoon on Velocity, Gargano and Ciampa turning pretty deadly on their heads. What a victory for DIY. Be sure to head over to the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel and don't miss out on No Mercy live this Saturday night at 5 p.m. Eastern Time. Thank you for joining us on Velocity. Prepare for the most exciting 10 minutes, a fast-paced 600 seconds, and all the action you can handle. Coming your way exclusively each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. The superstars of Raw and SmackDown race to the finish line on Velocity. Competition at an all-time high that you won't see anywhere else. Scan the QR code, follow on TikTok, and don't miss a second of Velocity. Mere nights before she defends the Women's World Championship in Madison Square Garden, the prodigy Roxanne Perez is set for action this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity against the always impressive Indy Hartwell. Of course, the Queen of the Ring going down live this Saturday at 5 p.m. Eastern Time only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. But as always, Velocity right here on the No Nation Gaming TikTok, the Prodigy Rock Sam Perez, one-on-one -on -one with Indy Hartwell, courtesy of Friday Night SmackDown. Roxanne Perez approaches a challenge in the LWO's first lady, Zelina Vega, this coming Saturday night in Madison Square Garden. And what a way to kick off this matchup. Gotta wonder what the condition of Vega is gonna be after what we saw just last week on SmackDown. Cameras rapidly cutting to the top of the stage in the middle of that Jordan Grace Raquel Rodriguez quarterfinal tournament bout. Seeing Roxanne Perez laying out Vega all at the top of the entrance ramp with a pop rocks. There's a pair of boots to Indy Hartwell. Roxanne Perez has certainly donned a new attitude over the last few months on SmackDown. And although you may not enjoy it, you can't say it hasn't brought her success. Marched into SummerSlam last month, took down Raquel Rodriguez to become the new Women's World Champion. But will she be able to get through her first tunnel defense against a woman that has pinned her shoulders to the canvas before this Saturday night against Selena Vega? All remains to be seen. What is important for... Perez right now is to not see her momentum go up in smoke against Indy Hartwell. Indy, somebody who gave Jordan Grace the TNA knockout, a fight in the midst of the first round of the Queen of the Ring tournament just a few weeks ago on SmackDown, came up short in that battle, but Indy Hartwell looking to bounce back here on Velocity. Roxanne Perez looking up at the lights momentarily, and I'm sure wherever Zelina Vega is watching from, she was grinning ear to ear at least momentarily. Of course, it was the SmackDown after SummerSlam. We saw Zelina Vega team up alongside Raquel Rodriguez. Vega and Perez really had some looming issues prior to the biggest party of the summer. Perez called upon a returning Alexa Bliss for tag team action on that night. It did not go their way. This one, however, may. India Hartwell getting the shoulder up. Of course, it was on that night that Zelina Vega surprised us all, pinning the shoulders of the brand new Women's World Champion Roxanne Perez to the canvas on that night on SmackDown. It was undeniable after that that Zelina Vega was the rightful number one contender to the Prodigy's Championship. Zelina Vega, so much history, born and raised in New York City, she's going to get that championship opportunity in the Big Apple on Saturday night. But I gotta say, no matter if there was a bump in the road a few weeks ago on SmackDown or not, Roxanne Perez is looking game this afternoon on Velocity. 
Indy Hartwell. Cobwebs may be shaken up. Indy not looking to stop fighting, using her size to her advantage that time. Indy trying to muscle Roxanne Perez down to the canvas for a sneaky pinfall. Got her down, did not keep her down. But maybe a rag daughter to the canvas will do just that. Indy Hartwell wanting her opportunity, and Roxanne Perez being the casualty may be how Indy climbs the ladder of Friday Night SmackDown. Not that the Women's World Champion's got anything to say about it. Could be looking for that Impaler DDT. But Hartwell has done her homework. Series of strikes. And now Indy again using her size and strength to her advantage against Roxanne Perez, muscling her over the shoulder for a very torture rack-like submission hold. Perez able to get out of it. Long way to the top. Oh no. Pick the ankles. Perez into the bridge, beautifully done, like her or not. And she almost stole the victory that time. Business is picking up between these two extraordinary individuals. Roxanne might have got caught. Indy, around and around we go with that DDT. Into the cover to pin the champion, not just yet. If Indy Hartwell secures victory tonight, you gotta believe she'll be waiting in the win for whoever leaves Queen of the Ring on Saturday as the Women's World Champion. Whether it be the prodigy Roxanne Perez or the LWO's First Lady Selena Vega, Perez not looking for Indy to be a problem here on Velocity. Face first, the Aussie goes off the canvas and now Roxanne trying to rev up the engines here. Perez was able to outlast a very woman who was known to be resilient in Raquel Rodriguez last month at SummerSlam. Perez has shown that she can beat the best of them. But can she keep down Indy Hartwell and follow that up with a win over Zelina Vega this Saturday? That is the question that is at hand. Indy just trying to get to her feet. Her bell may be ringing. Pop rocks by the champion. Roxanne Perez is rolling in to New York City off a W. Big time victory this Wednesday afternoon after a great effort by one Indy Hartwell. Here is your winner, Roxanne can Zelina Vega once again pin the shoulders of the champion and this time leave with the gold? We find out this Saturday night when Roxanne Perez enters Madison Square Garden at the Queen of the Ring. After no mercy is shown and a queen is crowned, the bad blood will boil over. Coming your way live on Saturday night, October 19th, from the TD Garden in Boston, Massachusetts. Witness the unforgiving, high octane, and high stakes action as Raw, SmackDown, and No Nation Gaming channel membership proudly present WWE Bad Blood. We are in the fast lane towards the Cruiserweight Classic live this Sunday from Manhattan, New York. But this Wednesday afternoon, NXT stars who will compete in the CWC are here on Velocity. The Scottish Supernova, Noam Dar, set to go one-on-one -on -one with the ever-exciting NXT standout, Dragon Lee. We welcome you to Velocity here only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok channel. Be sure to hit the like and follow and never miss a moment of the action each and every Wednesday here on Velocity. We are kicking things off. Dragon Lee, no Amdor, Lee hot out of the gate. Dragon Lee, as long, I should say, as well as the Scottish Supernova, both of these men will be competing in the Cruiserweight Classic Tournament. Two of the 16 that will be participating over the next eight weeks. That tournament commences live this Sunday at 12 noon Eastern time, only on the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. 
Dragon Lee, this is the first action he'll be seeing this week as he will be a part of the kickoff event this Sunday as he represents NXT one-on-one -on -one against SmackDown's Latino World Order representative, Cruz Del Toro. As for Noam Dar, he awaits the Bruiserweight Butch in a few weeks' time in the first round of the tournament. Dragon Lee, Noam Dar holding no fist this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity, a showcase for these two NXT talents. Cruiserweight Classic really took the world by storm late last summer and into the fall. And this year, the field more stacked than ever. The full bracket can be seen right now over the No Nation Gaming YouTube channel. Dragon Lee, Noam Dar, two of the NXT representatives. Javon Evans from NXT, the young OG, going to be participating as well. What about some of the TNA wrestling stars? Zachary Wentz, Jonathan Gresham, Frankie Kazarian. So much talent going to be in the midst of the Hammerstein Ballroom over the next eight weeks. And Dragon Lee may be showing why he is a favorite. Only a one count that time, but Velocity and this capacity crowd have been brought to their feet. Dragon Lee has really been a standout in the black and gold brand over his time in NXT, but Noam Dar not looking to be a stepping stone for what many are calling the future of Lucha Libre. Big time destroyer, whether it's Canadian or Scottish, it was effective. Noam Dar looking for his pound of flesh this Wednesday afternoon. Looking to put his name in the hat as one of the top picks that everybody's calling to win the Cruiserweight Classic. Spinning back elbow that time, but it knocked Dragon Lee's lights out, not just yet. As we mentioned earlier, not to sound like a broken record, but these two superstars holding no fist back tonight. Dragon Lee and Noam Dar know what's at stake here. Momentum for the Cruiserweight Classic. A bigger spotlight on your career as they look to break out in the CWC. We saw what the tournament did last year for one mad dragon, Ilya Dragunov. Winning the whole tournament propelled him to a Cruiserweight Championship opportunity. He went on to win the title, hold it from November of last year all the way till May of this year. Ilya Dragunov, certainly known as one of the faces of SmackDown these days, and that could be what remains for whoever is the last man standing in eight weeks' time. Noam Dar looking for that to be his opportunity. Charging right at Dragon Lee that time. Lee brought to his feet, not by will, but by force. And now Noam Dar looking to slow things down here on Velocity. Certainly a Velocity worth of, I should say, used to revving up the engines. But Noam Dar is looking to slam on the brakes and bring this matchup to a halt. Not if Dragon Lee's got anything to say about it. You know, Noam Dar, very familiar with the Cruiserweight Classic. He competed in the very first one all the way back in 2016. That is what brought him to World Wrestling Entertainment. Now all these years later, Noam Dar is back into the 16-man field looking to make the most of it when his name is drawn against the Bruiserweight Butch in the first round in a few weeks' time. Right now, Dragon Lee is looking worse for wear. And for Dragon tonight, he does not want to risk any kind of injury days before he opens up the tournament against Cruz Del Toro. Nice comeback, hesitation, knee. No Dar brought, brought down, excuse me, and into the bridge. Able to get the shoulder up that time. Of course, so much action on the horizon. The CWC on Sunday, the season premiere of Raw live next Monday in Chicago. And then SmackDown moving to Thursdays, kicking things off the season premiere, October the 3rd, next Thursday night. All the while, Dragon Lee looking to get back into this contest this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Nice drop kick into the corner. The Scottish Supernova may be seeing stars. And down goes Dar again. An old school drop kick. Bringing Dragon Lee to the promised land. But can he stay there? All remains to be seen as Noam Dar is looking worse for wear on the outside. Tope Suicida. Very nice. Dragon Lee not afraid to go skyward. 
And back inside the squared circle we go. No way Amdar on spaghetti legs right now. Oh, wow. What a maneuver by Lee. Ever impressive takedown. Reversal that time. Both these men jockeying for position. No Amdar misses wildly. And now Dragon Lee, once again, from behind, into the bridge. Amazing sequence of maneuvers that time, and Dragon Lee is the man left standing on the soles of his boots. No Amdar has got to try to shake the cobwebs off now or never. There's a sidestep that time. Dragon brought to the corner, not for long. Another takedown by Dragon Lee. No Amdar slowed things down a few minutes ago, but Dragon Lee has now done the opposite. He has revved up the engines. He's on top. Could be going for another head scissors takedown. Simple, effective, and bringing Dar off his feet. Lee could be going for an Operation Dragon this time. Going for a ride is No Amdar. This thing's over. Dragon Lee. Ever impressive this Wednesday afternoon on Velocity. Well, both of these men will compete in the Cruiserweight Classic over the next eight weeks. Dragon Lee kicks off the whole thing this Sunday. NXT representative Dragon Lee will kick off the Cruiserweight Classic one-on-one -on -one with SmackDown's Latino World Order's Cruz Del Toro. It all goes down this Sunday on the Donation Gaming YouTube channel live at 12 noon Eastern time. Last year, 16 of WWE's best cruiserweights clashed in an eight week tournament to decide who stood above the rest at 205 pounds and under. This year, we do it all over again. Sunday afternoons at 12 p.m. Eastern time Kicking off on September the 29th, 16 men representing SmackDown, NXT, and TNA Wrestling will participate in the 2024 edition of the Cruiserweight Classic. With the field more wide open than ever before, who will scratch and claw their way to greatness and be crowned the winner of the historic Cruiserweight Classic. Can't get enough universe mode? Well, now is your chance to secure a backstage pass to more universe than ever before. Become a Noah Nation Gaming Channel member and gain entry into monthly house shows that directly affect your episodic viewing of universe mode. Also, take a peek behind the curtain with behind the scenes updates, exclusive content to see how universe mode is brought to life each and every week. Hit the join button down below, become a Backstage Pass channel member, and get your front row seat to more universe than ever before. It is Velocity right here on TikTok. Lyra Valkyria looking to soar like a raven as she takes on one half of the Unholy Union in Island On. Lyra Valkyria, Raw's newest comer, took down Mee Chin back in Queen of the Ring, took on Alba Fire, and was victorious last week on Raw. Can she keep her momentum up here on Velocity on TikTok? Be sure to hit the follow and don't miss a second of the action each and every Wednesday as we are underway with this Monday Night Raw Women's Division action. Isla Dawn, predominantly a tag team competitor alongside Alba Fire, the Unholy Union, but tonight, one-on-one -on -one with Lyra Valkyria here on Velocity. Trying to turn the momentum around for the Unholy Union and not allow Raw's hottest new star, Lyra Valkyria, to use them as a stepping stone in her Monday Night Raw career. Valkyria, a woman with tons of promise, a former NXT Women's Champion. With the Unholy Union looking to make some momentum for themselves, and it could start here on Velocity. Not if Lyra Valkyria's got anything to say about it. Valkyria accepting an open challenge from Mee Chin back at Queen of the Ring a few weeks ago, picking up a huge victory in Madison Square Garden. 
Just 48 hours later, officially signed on the dotted line with Monday Night Raw, immediately took on Alba Fire, first night on the job, and was victorious as well. But now it's Isla Dawn who is looking to scratch and claw her way to victory and clip the wings of the Raven herself. Lyra Valkyria, however, looking to keep her momentum strong here on Velocity. Valkyria full of different strikes and high risk maneuvers in her arsenal as we see right there. Isla Dawn up against the ropes and crushed. Valkyria showcasing her strengths. Incredible moonsault that time. Only a one count that time, but Lyra Valkyria showing why she has already been a problem for the Raw Women's Division. And the Raw Women's Division certainly heating up as of late. Lyra Valkyria, one of the reasons because of it. You also look at the reemergence of Charlotte Flair as of late. Jade Cargill, Jade Cargill, excuse me, on her way to Monday Night Raw, one of the hottest free agents. You'll be arriving on the Red Brand October the 21st. Queen of the Ring winner, Tiffany Stratton, awaits the women's champion, Cora Jade, Bianca Belair, something developing there. Raw Women's Division has been on fire. Lyra Valkyrie and Isla Dawn looking to keep their name in the conversation. And Isla Dawn taking down Valkyria. Of course, the X Factor at Alba Fire at ringside. I'm sure she is willing to do what she's got to do if need be to give Isla a little assistance tonight and ensure that the Unholy Union does not go 0-2 against this former NXT Women's Champion. Of course, easier said than done. As Isla Dawn, this may be her best offense in this matchup, just keeping Vicaria grounded. Isla loves to take things to the air, as we have seen throughout her outings thus far, but Isla Dawn Ensuring that the only time she's leaving her feet is off an offensive maneuver. And Lyra able to kick out. You see the frustration starting to build on one half of the Unholy Union. Alba Fire looking dissatisfied at ringside, hoping that was going to be a three count. Isla Dawn has got Vicaria down right now. Lyra looking worse for wear in the corners. Isla is just starting to stack the offense here on Velocity. This is what the Unholy Union wanted. What a way to get back in the line of fire on Monday Night Raw than by turning away. One of the hottest newcomers, as we mentioned, easier said than done. What a heel kick to the jawline. Unfortunately, a three count was not to be had. Lyra, what a way to get back into this matchup. And El Valkyria. Sending Isla Dawn into the ropes. Just a few moments ago, it was Lyra who was up against the turnbuckles. Now a little roll reversal this time. Oh, man, what has she got in mind now? Scale in the ropes, dropping the leg. We told you she likes to soar through the skies. Lyra Valkyria, proving to be the raven that she calls herself. Oh, hold on, hey, hang on. Alba Fire up on the apron here. Taking the eye off the ball of Lyra. It looked as if she was revving up the engines to take things to the air once more. Alba Fire not looking to have the Unholy Union once again fall short to Monday Night Raw's hottest prospect in Lyra Valkyria. Well, Lyra's got to take her eye back on this matchup and take it away from Alba Fire. There's Isla Dawn coming from behind. Sending Lyra into the ropes and she gets muscled out of the canvas once again. And now Isla Dawn has got Lyra in prime position to strike. Lyra's momentum, a part of Monday Night Raw, may be coming to a screeching halt. Isla once again whipping Lyra off, and there has been nothing pretty about Isla Dawn's offense this Wednesday afternoon. Just effective, and Valkyria is showing the effects. At least for a moment. Wow, what an enziguri! Lyra showing to be resilient as she sends Isla to the ropes once more. Cuts her in half. Springboard, soaring through the skies. And that's gonna be a kick out that time, but what incredible offense by Lyra Valkyria. 
Isla Dawn took advantage of that momentary distraction, but was unable to keep Valkyria down. And now it's Lyra scaling the ropes for whatever the hell she's got in mind. Clearly has shown throughout this battle that she is not afraid to leave the soles of her boots. Missile drop kick and it lands on the button. Isla roll to the outside once more and right back where we were just a couple of minutes ago. Lyra gonna stay focused this time around and a tope to the outside. Nothing Alba Fire can do to intervene in that offense. And now Isla Dawn on spaghetti legs, ragdolled back inside the black and green ring. Lyra Valkyria having her way with the opposer on the shoulder she goes and it may be an unfortunate night for the unholy union. Lyra Valkyria headstrong here on Velocity. Another huge victory. Add Isla Dawn to the list. Lyra Valkyria proving to be a problem for the Raw Women's Division. Lyra Valkyria picking up a huge victory this Wednesday afternoon right here on Velocity. Velocity coming your way each and every Wednesday only on the No Nation Gaming TikTok. Be sure to leave a like and follow and never miss a moment of this exciting high octane action.